because I had a self-love affair and I learned about myself so much on that journey, um, the biggest analogy for me was the putting your own oxygen mask on first in the aeroplane uh, before everybody else's. And that really clicked and resonated with me. I realized that I was seeing to everybody else and not seeing to myself and it was affecting my health and my happiness. Um, so it really enabled me to push forward and make sure that I had time every day to do something that I wanted to do and that I loved. And um, because of that, I just feel so much happier and healthier and um, complete. When I didn't know how to put myself first, I spent a lot of my time feeling very bitter and twisted and um, resentful. And that would show in the way that I spoke to my children, I spoke to my family, and I spoke to my partner. And I didn't like myself for feeling that way and sounding that way. Um, now I'm able to uh, if something's getting me down, I am able to just walk away from it and do something that makes me feel happy without feeling guilty. I think that's the major thing. Um, if I took time for myself, I used to feel guilty, but now I don't at all. Even if it's just walking down to the bottom of the garden and looking at the, the garden, the flowers, the plants, and just enjoying the birds and the sounds for 10 minutes. Um, I have absolutely no guilt about doing that and just treating myself to a rest. So before I embarked on my self-love affair, I would be very busy with my business and very often the ch children would ask me for some of their time, but I would feel guilty for stepping away from the business and not earning money. And so I didn't really um, allow myself the time to do answer to my children they ask me questions and when they ask me for help with their homework or with a hobby or something like that um, I was always very snappy with them and short with them or I would give them maybe two or three minutes of my time and then walk away again and they often commented that the only place they could ever find me was sat at my computer in the office and um, now that has that has changed I do not work when the children are home from school and when they are awake. So I dedicate 100% of my time, be that playing in the garden or horse riding with my little girl. Um, when my son comes home, which is quite rare now because he's 19 and he's very independent, but when he comes home, I make sure that we just sit down with a cup of tea or sit down in front of the TV and just chat about his day and about his college work and um, just really um, just spending time with them to let them know that I am there and that I am listening and they can tell me anything that they need to tell me.